good morning good afternoon good evening wherever you are in the world watching this video welcome to the youtube team pmp multi channel my name is p i'm a uk multi-platform reseller and this is my sales video of what sold over the weekend and i sell on ebay amazon depop vintage and etsy and today i have a sales video and we have a nike traction bottom that sold for 12 i'll put up the screenshots because i might have forgot this is a vintage early 2000s nike a toy i tell selling toys clothing category and this is a spider-man spaceship vehicle and that's gone as well today we have another toy it's a tractor a nice tractor green there as you can see decent size so it should be not difficult to pack and then i have a vintage item drafts as described on the description it's got a little scuff there a little scratch from the stickers in the charity shop you know how it is and then it's a baker light vintage set so it's really good fine quality and that's gone also as you can see on the soles and on the comps that i've shown on the items as i'm talking about it because some of them yeah i do forget the name and this is a vintage camera a i believe it's a pantex yeah there it is there it is is it focus yeah pantex and boom there it is in its full glory a pantex pantex zoom 200 yep and that done really well didn't stay for too long and that's also another good sell so that's how we did this weekend this is what we did this weekend we sold five and these are all on ebay and i will show you the other things that sold on the other platforms in this section of the video i'm going to show you how i do my posting when it comes to my packages i don't primarily do big items i try and stay away from big items to be honest but the reason is because it's bulky i don't have a lot of space as you can see i'm in my front room doing my packaging i will show you later on as well in other videos my storage in my shed my space shed but for now i'm just going to show you how i do my packages and i tend to stay with stuff that fit in mailers and if they don't fit in mailers you know i've got boxes i can make my own boxes and stuff like that to make it fit better a lot better like for example with this one that's why i'm doing this video so i can show you with some awkward items how i pack them i do use bubble wrap but also i use some extra cardboard to make sure that it gets fit safely because i don't really want to return and mainly returns with toys is because it gets damaged so i am extra careful so i'll show you today in this video how i do my packages so for something small like this i'll put elastic band around it to make sure it stays secure and doesn't open them because i've got some drafts in there and then yet again even though it's got its own box and i'm going to put it in a bubble mailer i will also just give it a little bubble wrap some and then just give it one roll so that it's still is protected and gets in the jiffy bag just like this. so if i fold it it's going to get a bit too big so it wouldn't fit so i just off the seal there you go it might jiggle in shape but it won't open and it will get there safely because it's got double bubble wrap okay so that's one down right there and then with clothing that's really easy and quick i've got these clear bags that i put them in to make them look presentable and also as an extra layer of safety and protection just to make sure in case the packaging gets ripped gets a hole and then it's a rainy day the item is going to get wet so these are zip bags that all that all these items that i use for my packaging you can catch and have a look check in the descriptions i've got all the links there where i get these from and they're really cheap i get them in hundreds 
So as you can see, I'm always running out soon. But I just took a couple. I've got a, bag, a box over there where I've got loads of them by like hundreds. So then I put it in the zip bag. Then from the zip bag, I get my mailer bag, plastic jiffy bag, whatever you want to call it. And then that just slides in there like so. Same process as before. Rip off the seal. There you go, that's another one done. And they're really quick. That's just two done like that, quickly. And then the third one I'll do is the camera. Because yet again, this one, as you can see, it's a delicate item. But I make sure it gets there safely. So it's gonna be one of those where I will put it in some, I'll wrap it with bubble wrap and then I'll put it in a box and put some void fill to make sure that the bubble, the item does not get shaken about or also to make sure if it takes an impact the box, it won't go through and affect the camera because it's a camera <clears throat> is really sensitive to things like that and I just want to make sure it gets there safely so I just go a bit OTT with my packaging with some items because I don't get many returns with my items I make sure I, cut, I double wrap protect them take that sound there you go that's nice and then I've got boxes here. I've got loads of different sizes of boxes and I will find the right one and then I will do that. So then I will choose, so then I will choose the box oh, that I think will best suit. This one looks good. I get my boxes from my local off license, local store, local shop, whichever you've got. Just ask them and talk to them and they'll be that's a nice one there yeah and that will just tape up with some board on it yep that's the one so when i choose one i'll do it like that give it a test run and on the test run if it's good i will start the process of making the box into a secure box so that it can to start off with get the shape of the box and then when I finish I will add so I use void field that I get from boxes or from when I make my orders like this clear wrap I got this from when I put my bubble wrap so I use it to do more recycling to put in my packages but also it does the job in protecting the product that's the main thing so firstly just double check to make sure it fits in there I just want to protect your product, so I'm going to do what you have to do. Make sure you put loads, don't be stingy. And then you put some on top as well. the same process for the plane and this one I'll just show you what it being a slack so I got a box this is the best box I think so I'm gonna use this box I'm gonna cut it down to make sure it fits perfectly and also give it lots of bubble wrap you can find me zoning on my own you can hear me zoning on my own you can find me walking on my own you can find me zoning on my own you can hear me zoning on You can come and find me on the school run. You can come and find me in a park when I take my new puppy out for a walk though. You can come and find me, you can come and find me. You can come and see me, you can come and see me. But don't be try be. I ain't watching them, I ain't listening to them, I ain't surfing with them. I'm just out on road walking. You can find me walking on my own. You can find me zoning on my own. You can hear me zoning on my own. That's why they don't really like me much, cause I'm so always HA. They're always so vexed though. Just wanna come next though.
but I'm quite quacking all the time when I talk about ghosts to pee, when I talk about pee the ghost, but I'm always out here smiling coast. So secure, I'll move around and it will get there nice and safely. One, two, three, four, you're on at the moment. That's me, I got the tripod, so got the last one. And I think that one. Ooh, I might have the box for it. It's not that one. There you go, I have one prepared. I think it's this one. No. All too small. Well, it looks like I'm gonna have to make my own box. Bit big. But height wise it is, but I need half of the box. I don't need a whole box. I need half a box. What a nightmare. So we're gonna have to make the box. But bear with me. So I've got a box that I cut from the other box, the original box. So it was looking like this. Yeah, so it came out, I cut it in half, then I started making the box by folding it in half and then it was looking like this and then I just build the wall then I use my scissors to mark it to cut them to cut then I got my flaps and then it became more of a box and then I got my scissors to do my grooves and then I just folded it by the grooves I made as you saw previously which then gives me a box and it looks like so but you can't leave it like that one because the item will be shaken in there and it is not protected as you can see so then now we go through the protection process but before we do that just gotta get it in place by taping it up and get the flaps down that's what I have in the first one, it gives it some proper good shape and you just want to make sure you've got your shape. And because it's folded, it gives it an extra protection because now it's got thicker walls. And then on after that, we're going to still put some bubble wrap around it. Security, we've got to get this and because it's plastic, we've got to get these. Now you can see this is why I don't like doing lots of packages or I don't like to do big and bulky so sometimes with toys it, toys relatively cheap so because of that and they're quick and fast to sell I use toys as my filler for those quick sales and good toys give good feedback to toy there so there you go We'll stick that in there. Plus it's got bubble wrap and it's a nice tight box. Doesn't really need a boy fill. And then pack it this way around and get it extra protected on the top. So then we just it's not got it's short, strong and also overkill with my packaging but there you go as you can see that will take the hit just like the camera would and there we have it that's all my packages done one two three four and five so as you saw it didn't take me that long to do my packages i only had four five for ebay and the five that I had for ebay i thought it would make a good video because they're totally different types of items but within those guidelines of my categories this is why because on the other side of things you have to think about the packing packaging and sorting it and make sure it gets to your customer safely so that's the camera that's the toy that's the that's the draft then we've got the nike tracksuit bottom in a jiffy bag they're really nice and quick those last two and then that's the box for the plane spider-man plane and now you see that's all done so i'll get these packed now into a bag and take them to my every local drop-off you can find me zoning on my own you can hear me zoning on